want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakurash. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God, and Jesus Christ, whose names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. You're going to have to lean on the Lord. All right. And, you know, the closer and closer we get to the end of this, Jacob's trouble, all these calamities, all these plagues that the Lord is bringing upon America and, and other parts of the world where Israelites dwell. All right, really the true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that believe on the name, that, that believe on the doctrine, you're going to have to lean on the Lord, lean on faith, okay? Because with this money system or with the, uh, you know, the collapse of these banks, all right, uh, 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 you got, you know, turmoil within the government, you go, you got a uh, um, famine that's, you know, and growing increasingly, you know, every day that, that you can't see. You get all these calamities, all these things that are coming, and eventually, you know, you we hey, the true believers, the, the 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 prophets, we lean on the Lord now, all right, in our everyday life, all right. But you Jakes out there that that believe, but you know that you you kind of on the fence. You're gonna have to put your put a step out on faith and believe on the Lord and lean on the Lord. All of us are gonna have to lean on the Lord, all right. And, and the things that you know, and we're not gonna have control over you know certain things in our life things that we have control over now okay you can, can control you know you can control your money to a certain degree all right you know you may not have as much as others but you can still it's, it's still things in your life that you can control but it's going to get to a point where you're not going to have any control and you're going to have to lean upon the lord you're going to, have to lean upon your faith okay and, and, and your works all right which consists of you know you following the law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability your righteous works you know um you repenting, you're turning away from sin. Those are the things that you're going to that depend on. Those are the treasures that are stored up in heaven that, you know, that, that, you know, you're going to have to cash in eventually. Okay. And, 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 and though that's going to come in the form of the Lord protecting you, the Lord guiding you, the Lord, you know, uh, giving you the spirit to discern, uh, uh um, you know, uh, uh, certain things, certain ways to go. All right. Do I do this? Do, should I not do this? OK, when the hour of temptation comes, that 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 those treasures that you've been stored up in heaven are going to, uh, uh, um, you know, keep you from the hour of temptation, as the scripture says. All right. You're going to have to lean on the Lord and not man. All right. That's what it's really going to boil down to. You're not going to excuse me. You're not going you, you you're you you're going to have to lean on the Lord and not this system, not this devil, not Esau. All right. Because our, our people have come have become so accustomed to leaning on you know, uh, uh, um, Esau, the thing that this government, okay. When, when, when shit gets bad, what do our people do? They look into the government. They're looking for, you know, uh, a answer, a solution. Okay. Just like when the pandemic came, people, our people were, were rushing to the news, seeing what Esau had to say. All right. Well, we should do this where, where, uh, uh, I can, I don't even want to say it cause I don't want to get striked, you know, cover your face, stay this many feet apart. The people were looking for solutions. OK, but when these plagues come and when these plagues are at the at their height. All right. And and, and you're going to be looking for answers and no answers are going to be uh, readily available to you. You're going to have to lean on the Lord. And a lot of our people, they're not going to two thirds of our people is prophesied. Two thirds of our people will, are not going to lean on the Lord. They're going to be continue to seek and search after this devil search for counsel from this devil or right? as the scripture says so let me grab that real quick um isaiah 30 and um one yeah 30 and one woe to the rebellious children say of the lord that take counsel but not of me that and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin iniquity all right that's our people that's the two-thirds of israel that that the rebellious house the stiff-necked the stiff neck uh, uh, children, okay, that that won't cleave unto the Lord, that won't repent, okay, that don't want to seek the right answers, that want to want the the prophets to prophesy, you know, smooth things, okay. Those are the Jakes that that take a counsel of of, of Esau, that take a counsel of this world, that are going to eventually take a counsel of this new world order, 
or verse two, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right. They, they hey, eventually, man, our people have been stuck here so long. All right. They know some truth. All right. Our people know that, you know, the majority of our people know that this devil is a devil, that this devil Esau. OK, but they've been they, they, this. It's like Esau is their default. OK, when, you know, a hey, they, they our default is Yahweh Bashim Shai, who we should be cleaving on to, who should we, we, we should lean on and trust and believe in. But our people, they've been accustomed to lean on this devil. You know, they, they, it's, it's, it's like a, a, you know, it's a natural reaction for our people. All right. But, hey, the prophets are telling you, you Jake's hey, that that this devil is not the light. You know, this devil is going to lead you into more darkness, into confusion. All right. And you better, you know, you better you niggas better wake up, man. OK, because the times are coming where, you know, it's going to get real. it's going to get really bad out here. All right. You know, all you got to do is take food away from a nigga. Okay, these niggas are gonna bug out. They're gonna go crazy. They're gonna lose it. Just the food, okay, and and, and everything else after that is just you know Jake is not gonna know how to react, but they could because they trust in Egypt. They trust in Esau, all right. They trust in a man. They not in the Creator. They don't trust in the 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 the, uh, the bean, okay, the Creator that created this man. They trust in a man, a, a fleshly man, all right. This is um. Jeremiah 17 and 5, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm, whose heart departeth from the Lord. And your heart is synonymous with your mind. Okay, so our people's mind is not on your how about you shot. Okay, uh, they're not, they're, their mind is not on uh, on the Lord, your how, the creator. Okay, their mind, when they're in calamities, when they're in trouble, it reverts back to Esau. Shit, let me call 911. Not let me call on your Hawabashi now shy. Lord, please deliver me from this situation. Oh, let me call 911. Oh, shit, you know, it, it, it's a food shortage. Let me turn on the news and see what the news is saying. Or it, it, it's a it, it, it's a chariot in the sky. And <laughs> people gonna think it's a these people gonna think it's an alien invasion. Not let me call on Lord. Let me see what our government's gonna do. Is our government's defense defense system gonna protect us against this? Okay, the, that's what that's our that's our people. They 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 trust in man. Okay, it says cursed be the man that, that trusteth in man. All right, this is Psalm 60 and um I think it's at the bottom, verse 12, 11. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Who 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 is the who is uh David asking give us help from trouble from? Yahweh, the most high. Through though the most high, excuse me, excuse me, through the most high we shall do val valiantly, for he for he it is for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. He's going to tread down our enemies. We can't fight this devil, uh, uh, um, you know, at his own game. He's going to our Lord is going to fight for us. Okay, but the point is, give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. Okay, this this this, this devil has done nothing for you, Israelites, but bring you down and to try to can, can try and continue to destroy you. All right, but you're going to seek help from him. This is Proverbs 29 in uh, verse 19. It reads, a servant, let me see. No, 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 this is not what I wanted. No, 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 25. So like it. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 25 and, um, shit, verse uh, 19. It says, confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth or a foot out of joint. <laughs> Confidence in, an in Esau, Edom, this government, this system, is that unfaithful man, okay, in a time of trouble. It's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's, um, confidence in an unfaithful man in a time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot without joint. A broken tooth is no good, okay? And a foot without joint is it, 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 no good. You, you can't have a foot, okay? You put your foot down without a joint, it's, it's gonna, you're going to fall. Like if you if you bite into a piece of steak or bite into something hard with a broken tooth, you're not going to be able to chew or 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 or, or, or um, chew whatever you're trying to bite. It's no good. All right. So so putting your confidence and your faith in this devil in this system in, in the time of trouble in any time 
is no good, but the, even more so in the time of trouble, all right, in the time of calamity, in the time when you need a, a, a deliverance the most, all right? Um, and, and like I said, it's going to get a time where, you know, hey, it's going to be it's going to be a scary times out here. All right. Where, where, you know, everyone's going to be shook up, even the men of the Lord. All right. Because we read about Jacob's trouble. All right. We, 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 we speak on it through the prophecies, but no one knows, you know, how it's really going to be. OK. You know, this says the scriptures say Daniel 12 and 1 that it's going to be a time. Let me grab it real quick. That has never been. Uh, Daniel 12 and 1. And at, and at that time, shall Michael stand up that the great prince prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book so it's going to be a time of trouble like the world has never seen all right you think about all the calamities all the the, the you know times throughout history throughout the history of the world where where, where our people have been destroyed slavery the translated slave trade, the lead up to the, you know, the, the, the capturing of the slaves and, you know, uh, um, you know, it, it, and they had, they had the, uh, a Jake on those, um, what they call them castles on the West coast of uh, Africa, where they were just waiting to be shipped in the slave ships. Okay. It, the, 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 the slave, the, the, the ride over here in the boats. Okay. Well, it was a terrible time. The slave trade during the slave trade, Okay, during slavery was a terrible time. The, the Native American Indians, the tribe of Gad, when they got slaughtered, that was a terrible time. Okay, now even speaking of the times throughout history, through the Babylonian, Assyrian, the uh, the the Medio Persian, the, the Grecians, and the uh, the Roman Empire, the Roman uh, uh, seventy A.D. Those are all times of trouble for our people. Okay, but nothing is going to compare. Even uh, 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 um, damn, I said seventy A.D. Uh, it, you know, all those combined are not going to uh, uh, amount to the time of trouble, uh, uh, the time of the destruction that's coming in these times. Is that the, the title of this says that the time of the end, the time of the end is going to it's it's going to shake everybody up. And if you're not prepared, if you're not spiritually prepared, not this is not a physical fight. If you're not spiritually and mentally prepared, you're going to you're going to crumble. You're going to crumble under pressure. I don't care how strong you think you are, but if your confidence is not built up in your how about you, if you're not leaning and dependent on the Lord in that day, you're, you're through. This is the book of 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For the most I have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. The Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, even though it's going to be times we went when we may be frightened or when we may be fearful, we're going to lean and depend on the Lord and the Lord is going to give his elect all right, that courage and that strength to get through and maintain, okay? Give us that sound mind. Give us uh, the knowledge and wisdom to be stable, to be stable-minded, to be sober-minded in, the, in, these, in these great calamities in these, during these great plagues. Uh, let me jump back over to uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 1. Son of my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments for let me see, is this what I want? No, 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 no. So like, yeah, I wanted verse 25. Um, be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh. It says, be not afraid, all right? We're gonna, the Lord is, you know, gonna uh, um, be our strength and our courage in that time, all right? Verse 26, for the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. The Lord is our confidence. The Lord is our, our you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai, just calling upon the names. All right, those names are very important. And you got Israelite groups out there, you know, acting like we don't got the name and we're going to get the name later. The lame is what, 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 what is a, let me grab that. What was that? Uh, Proverbs 5, Strong Tower, something like that. Uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Where is that at? The name is, 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 the name is, you know, the, 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 one of the main defense against these times. Um, let's see. Proverbs 18, 18 and 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it. And it's safe. 
All right. The Lord, hey, the Lord's going to be that strong tower. He, the Lord is going to be uh, um, our protection. The name of the Lord, is, the name of the Lord and the Lord is going to be our protection in that day, in that time. Okay. Because, you know, like I said, the closer and closer we get, you're going to you're going to see more and more banks close and say the bank closes or shut down. And you like, you know, like this the, recently, the uh, what was it? The uh, Silicon Valley Bank, they shut down. And but I guess on Monday, they allowed the people to get their money. You know, the, the Fed allowed their people to, you know, get their deposit or get their money up out of those banks. But it's going to come a time when that's not going to be an option where. You may be able to get your money, but they may make you wait a month, okay, where, where, you know, you got bills, you need, you know, basic necessities, you need things, and you're not able to access your money, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You, you, you're going to, you know, go up there and, and, and bug out and, 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 you know, run your car into the bank and rob the bank, or, or are you going to depend on the Lord, all right? There are people that don't have the Lord as their, uh, 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 you know, as their anchor, the Lord as their, you know, uh, um, at, at, you know, to, to, to lean and depend on, they're going to do things like that. They're going to act out. They're going to act emotional and impulsive. All right. Versus saying, hey, we're going to wait on the Lord. You know, hey, the Lord is, the Lord knows what we need. All right. The Lord, how about Shema Rashad? He knows what we need and knows when to give it to us. Okay. Versus saying, you know, like I said, being impulsive and, and emotional and saying, you know, I got to go get it. This is my money. You know, fuck it. You know, hey, we depend on the Lord, man. We, we're not going to depend on this devil for nothing. All right. Um, let me grab this Isaiah 33 and six. I quoted it earlier. I'm going to just bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 33 and verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be thy, the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Hey, the fear of the Lord. All right. The fear of the Lord. It, it, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But as the scripture says in Proverbs, I believe one and six, but wisdom and knowledge is going to keep you stable the wisdom of what not the wisdom of this world not the wisdom you uh, uh learn from a video you watch prepping and all of that shit no the knowledge and wisdom of these scriptures okay that you look at our forefathers that have went through uh things and and and, and you know how and those that depended and leaned on the lord how do they turn out all right hey, it, it, it always turned out good is it i'm gonna grab that scripture um is it sirach 2 and 10 uh, look at the generations of old and whoever depended on the Lord. This is uh, Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see did, e did, see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Look at all our forefathers from, from, from Noah to Abraham, okay, uh, 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 Jacob, Isaac, all the prophets, okay, the, the, the 12, you know, with the exception of uh, uh, Judas Iscariot, but all of them leaned on the Lord, leaned on, 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 and and were faithful until death. All the twelve got put to death, with the exception of John uh, the Revelator. Okay, and, and and it was a gruesome death, but they believed on the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They believed the words of Yahweh Shai when he told them that they would do in the regeneration, in the regeneration, they would um, they would uh, uh, sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes. They believe that. So we believe that also. Okay. We believe that if we get put to death, all right, hey, hey we're going to be raised up again. Okay. You know, because we truly believe in this. And it's a lot of jakes in this truth that don't believe that. All right. Because what everyone's faith is going to be put to the test in that hour of temptation. Okay. Everyone's faith is going to be put to test during Jacob's trouble. You just want to be, make sure you're faithful until the end. All right. Um, I got one last scripture I want to grab. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 20, and uh, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of our Lord, of of, our, of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, some, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, some trust in uh, 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 tangible things you can see, because a lot of our people are carnal. They trust in these things you can see. All right, we're going to trust in, we're going to remember, it says, but we will remember the name of, your, of the Lord, of the Lord, Yahweh, our power. We're going to remember the name. We're going to remember, uh, uh, he said that he would do miracles and that, you know, we would do uh, 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 things greater than him. All right, that, that you know, he would not leave us comfort, comfortless. We're going to remember his, this doctrine. We're going to remember the scriptures and we're going to lean upon them in our time 
of trouble and calamity. Okay, so Lord, within this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Habakkuk, Wadash. Until next time, I say Shalom.